So good morning, everybody. Buenos días. When I joined Mary's group five years ago, I did it as part of an international management program with people from more than 40 countries. And I'm sure many of you have similar experiences. So we took several classes together, and one of those was cross-culture. They taught us how cultural differences gets to influence negotiation, decision-making, and teamwork. And they show us how some of the basic interaction get to differ from culture to culture. The class was very interesting. But can we really get to learn about cultural differences by sitting in a classroom? What actually makes each one of us different? What really defines who we are? It's an interesting question. And I'm very sure that all of the answers would be completely different from each other. Each answer would be a whole new story, a wide range of experiences, and a new set of dreams. But it's that diversity, the one that makes our world beautiful. And it's our cultural background, the one that really defines what is important and what is valuable. So after the program, I moved to live in China, in Chengdu, for two years. And I was leading a team of 20 people, all Chinese. It was a wonderful experience, but it was no long until I heard. We agree with everything you're saying, but you don't understand because you're not Chinese. And somehow they were right. I did not understand. So I remember at one point, my team was awarded as the best team of the department. And the big prize was that we had to make up a show. So we were in the middle of peak season, so I couldn't understand why we had to spend our valuable time by rehearsing for this performance. Where I come from, the prize would have been a dinner, a gift card, but never ask us to make a show. So I just couldn't get it. But I also got to understand this was not a reward for me. This was a reward for my team and for the Chinese organization I was part of. And as a leader, I had to adapt. So as a team, we pick up the World Cup song. This was long ago. So we changed the lyrics to tell our story. We didn't have time to make up a dance from scratch. So I just taught them one I already knew back from Peru. So at the end, we had Peruvian and Chinese sing dancing for a Colombian singer with lyrics originally about Africa, but modified to be about shipping. And it was great. We had an awesome time together. And I got to learn why this unusual prize was so important to them. Chinese is a very collect collective culture much more than Peruvian. So by creating up this performance, we got to put together elements from opposite cultures. And in such a short time, we really got to deliver the team spirit. And the result was much better than I had expected. So in order to be effective in a global organization, we have to be flexible, open to learning and change, to influencing, and to being influenced. So the final result is much more than the sum of its parts. For the very first time, I really got to listen and understand instead of just doing and assuming. International exposure broadens up your vision and enhances your personality. So learning to shape your leadership style to the local culture and the local needs, it's imperative if you want to get things done in a large organization as I'm pretty sure many of you already know. So now, we all have this massive international opportunity of One Young World. Take a look around you at the more than 1,200 delegates from over 180 countries. One Young World is giving us the best bridge ever, an unbeatable opportunity to experience diversity as it's most magnificent. So see how many of those 180 new cultures you can learn about. Get to seek out for those you have never encountered before and share, really listen and understand. 
get to learn about all those great ideas inside those heads and about all the dreams. And let's work together and find creative ways to overcome those diversities and work together towards a common goal. Then go back home and tell people everything you have learned. Show a deeper understanding about the way we work and the way we lead. And show a deeper respect for those who are different from yourselves. If we all do this, I am certain that as a result of this summit, we would be able to inspire others into making better business and a better world. Let's have faith on that. It will not make things easier, but it will make things possible. Thank you very much.